Hey, Funky Friends. Welcome back to the Chaotic Kitchen. We are working our way through our Star Wars Marathon, and we are doing today, now, a... We're doing supper, actually. This is going to be our entree meal that we've got going on. It's going to be braised shock roast. Um, we're doing it a little differently. We're putting it in a crock pot instead, so it's going to be kind of braised. We're going to uh, sear it first and then throw it into the crock pot, season it up with that Nerf seasoning, seasoning we just got done making. But... One thing we need to do, as always, we're going into our cookbook here, the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge official Black Spire Outpost cookbook. So far, I've found that there are a few items we like, a few items we don't like. We're giving this one a try and see how it is. So, so we're going to listen, read what Pro, uh, Strono Cookie Tugs tells us in our Star Wars cookbook, Galaxy's Edge. I love this book, actually. All right, Brace Chakros. If you have ever been to Naboo, you're, you've probably seen herds of shock grazing in the grasslands. These rotund beasts are basically big balls of lard with legs. But if you are a skilled butcher who can manage to navigate past all that fat, there's actually some pretty mouth-watering meat underneath. That's what we're having for supper tonight. When it comes to shock, the roast is the only way to go. It's an ample cut packed with flavor, particularly when braised with some local greens and fungi. Braising is a long, slow process, sure, but the end result is so tender that it practically falls apart the second you fork, your fork touches it. I usually add some noodles to, mix, to the mix as well, just to fill out the dish and soak up all the delicious juices. My braised shock roast is rustic. It's hearty, and it's usually sold as sold out as soon as I open the pot. So we are going to give that recipe a try today. Um, we're going to start off by searing our roast shock to make or our shock roast to make sure that it seals in the flavors. Um, we're not braising it because braising it is actually like boiling it for two hours. We're going to do a crock pot, which is an eight-hour thing. We could do four hours as well, but I like the. We're going to do it on eight hours. Using our um, using our nerf sauce, our nerf seasoning, because that nerf seasoning that we made in the last video smells and tastes so good. We're going to give her a try. I've never cooked with savory, so I'm kind of interested to see if the savory comes through. Let me know what you guys think. We'll get this going in just a second. Why is it not going faster? You know, I found that it is true that a watched pot does not boil. All right, so what we've got is our beef has cooked for eight hours or about you take it out of the pot you get it let it uh shred itself because it's going to look fantastic all right we've got our pot set for boil it's almost there so i'm going to add what is this salientani i have no idea it's these whirly gig add a little bit of those in there a little bit more I put about half a box in just because, well, I like to. I want to make sure there's enough. Also, while we're at it, also have my fry pan uh, getting ready to, pot, to uh, cook as well, warming that up. Um, what we're going to be throwing in first, we're going to throw in, well, this we've got olive oil in there to start the cooking process to get warmed up. And I've got the pearl onions. And mushrooms that we're going to throw in there to cook. Mmm, some sizzle. Lots of sizzle on that one. Let me get this cleared out. Get all the onions in. Or all the mushrooms in. And grab my dirty, well, dirty. And let this cook. So you're going to cook this down. Excuse me. It's going to be about five minutes of cooking on that. So what we're doing now is we're going to grab, whoops, half cup of liquid, just 
that we cooked our meat in. So all the juices from the meat is in here. We're going to let that absorb into the mushrooms and the onions. All right, so now that we've got the onions and the mushrooms all, uh, all fried up and they are crystallized or caramelized in the meat sauce, I'm going to take, turn the heat down, turn the heat off, and throw in our kale. What we're going to do there is we're just going to let it wilt. Just stir it until it wilt. We're waiting on the pasta to finish up, and then we can assemble this bad boy. All right, so now we're at the point where we've got our pasta taken care of. Let me just set this over here for just a second because i got to get the sink tank cleared out. The pasta here, and we're going to pour that on in. To the strainer just to let it strain out everything. And set that back on the burner. It be hot. So we're just going to shake out all the excess water. And next step is to take about one half cup of the fluid. So we're going to start kind of getting that out of here and pouring it into each of the bowls. That's going to have all the meat yumminess in it plus the uh, Nerf sauce or Nerf seasoning, so that kind of adds a little extra something, something to it. I'm going to put some of the seasoned sauce or seasoned juice in here. Keep in mind that that's got that Nerf sauce and all the, or Nerf season and all the good stuff in there. And looks pretty well divided. We'll get that. Unplug the crock pot so she doesn't heat up anymore. She wasn't heating up anyways. Um, we need to grab our pasta whatever this thing is, pasta spoon, pasta wooden. And we're going to divide up our pasta in the bowls. Now I know my son is, Penny, shut up. I know my son is not a big fan of pasta, so I'm not going to put a lot in his. I know my daughter is a big fan of pasta, so I'll maybe put a little more in hers. There we go. The pasta there. And then we take our onions and our kale and, and mushrooms and divide that up. Pour that in there. Now the kale has been wilted nicely. Oops. Looks like we won't have, won't have much left over for this. And of course, there we go. Last bowl. All that. Yummy. And I'm going to use the spoon that I've been dealing with just to kind of mix it up just a little bit. Get that all together. Mix that seasoning in, all the flavors in. Get the pasta getting really yummy flavored here. Soak in some of the juices. There we go. Still some kale from my son so that get a little more than that. There we are. And a couple mushrooms because I like the mushroom. All right. All right, there we go. And I put my meat in a pot here, just or in a glass bowl just to help out. And we'll just serve a little bit of that on top. And not a little bit because we like meat in this family. So we're going to put a little more on. And to top these bad boys off, we've got a little carrots. Now these are going to be fresh carrots. And they were shredded. I assume you can buy shredded lettuce carrots somewhere, but I, I we we did it myself. We did them at myself. I did it myself. All right, fresh carrots.
And then I'm going to take with that pinko breadcrumbs just for the top is a little bit of extra seasoning. If I can get the top, there we go. And they say just sprinkle some of that on top. So it's going to give it a little bit of a crunch and a little bit of flavoring. There we are. And there you have it. Braised shock roast, which was made actually in the crock pot, so I don't know if it really qualifies as braised. I think it looks fantastic. Let me give it a quick taste on here. It looks good. Mmm. The meat and the seasoning turned out really, really well. We've got pearl onion and one of the noodles and some carrots. Mmm. The onions have a nice little kick to them. That's always a plus. And then my mushrooms. Nope, that was not mushroom. Let me find mushroom. Mushy, mushy. There we go. All right, mushroom. Here we go. Mmm. Turned out really, really well. Enjoy. It actually turned out really, really good. I love the onions. They give you just the right kick. Let me know if you guys get a chance to try it. Put a comment in the bar below. Share, uh, share, like, and subscribe if you'd like. We'd like to see you come on back and watch some of our other content. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good day, guys.